Hi, everybody. Welcome to your weekly Home Advocate Report. My name is Lee Honish, and we are talking Las Vegas with our local home advocate, Stephen Thompson. How are you today, Steve? Doing great, Lee. You? Amazing as always. I can't complain. It's San Diego, and even when it rains, it's not cold. So it's a, a huge plus here in San Diego. Right here this morning. Yeah, there you go. Moisture in the air. Uh, first of all, if you need any help whatsoever with any kind of real estate transaction, click the links down below or give uh, Steve a call. His information directly is down below. If you can't remember that, 833-WOW-HOPE, we will get you to Steve and Steve will call you right back. Just that simple. Today, we are talking about people who've missed payments yet again. It's a topic that we probably beat to death, but we knew that this was going to happen earlier, that we were going to talk about it. So let's Let's get into this just for a brief moment, Steve. Uh, you worked there in Las Vegas, uh, literally tens of thousands of people. My estimation, probably something like 10% of the, of the uh, housing mortgages are coming online and will be uh, defaulted, as well as a lot of renters. This is a huge rental community. I have a tremendous impact on real estate in Las Vegas. From your perspective, let's start with the simplistic part. Can the market in Las Vegas right now handle um, some inventory? Oh, yeah. We've been dropping for like 25 weeks now. So more inventory would be good. Um, get the buyers some uh, things to look at, get some money in some seller's pockets. Right. So that starts with the first simple question, which the minute you say default, people believe short sales or there's no money to be had. Uh, I am guessing, you're the expert for the area, that there's a lot of equity to be had in Las Vegas right now. There is. Um, most of the properties that uh, I've been looking at um, have equity. Uh, probably 90 plus percent. Um, and that's after all your fees, you know, title fees, everything. Um, even houses that might be short sales last year are no longer short sales. So plus I've, I can help with that too. I've done many a short sale, as you know. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, the whole team will help and take care of that. I think uh, what I, most people believe me being a former banker, bad English. I used to be a former banker and when people are foreclosed upon, they believe that that equity will just magically come back to them. And I tell people constantly, that's not the case. You have to request it. It's paperwork. The bank would prefer to hold it. It's better to take care of it right now. What do you think it is about the mindset of the people of Las Vegas that, that they can pry my dead body out of my place, denial thing that actually occurs with people who have missed payments? Is it strictly fair? Um, no, it's just people have been programmed for the last couple of years that they're not going to do anything. Um, you can stay as long as you want. And uh, that's starting to change. And uh, I, I'm seeing it all the time every day. I think it's the equity, right? Like, I think mm -hmm. there's so much equity that people you know, that are financially struggling can find a way to get out. Uh, my greatest fear is that people take advantage of their equity and they burn through that money as well, right? So in 2007, people were told to use your credit cards to make your payments and keep everything afloat while the market sort of corrected itself. And here we are now, people are pulling that equity out of their house. Um, I would hate to see people not take advantage of that equity or being able to straighten out their lives, right? And get, there's, there's a huge opportunity when you sell your house and get that cash that you can really restart your life and remake it into anything. Correct. Um, yeah, like you said, it's not just going to show up magically. The bank, you know, if they take your house, they're, they're taking your money. So don't, wait until you get that notice on the door just that simple use the information down below just have a conversation with us uh steve and i will be happy to talk to you the numbers down below 833-969-4673 or call steve directly on his cell phone down below or click the link i'm sure i added a link 
when this got posted, you can click that as well. If that's all too difficult, 833 Wow Hope. Anything you want to tell anybody uh, about any of this for the week? If you have any questions, give me a call. I can help you with information. Uh, I've been here for years, so let's talk.